are the chambers once occupied by the Dark Lord Sauron, in the guise of the Necromancer of Mirkwood. Stained by his presence, few now dare enter here. Welcome back to more the Lord Truth. of the Rings Online. Get them! In this episode, I'm going to be doing Samath Ghoul. This is a six-man instance here in Dogledur, and it's going to be pretty interesting. Now, similar to the last episode, unfortunately, when I recorded this episode, my microphone was not picking up the audio, so this audio recording is after the fact. I'm going back and recording the audio now. I do apologize about that. The next few episodes are similar. If you're interested in why that happened, it's because I was using OBS to record this. And when I updated it, it automatically shut off my microphone settings, and I didn't realize it until I came back to edit these episodes. That's enough yapping about that. So lots of work out here, lots of quests to do, and we're going to be meeting up with one of the familiar characters that we saw a few episodes ago. I won't ruin the surprise just yet. This guy who's helping me is actually not in my kinship, but he's been gracious enough to help. One of the quests is to collect some of these relics here, 15 of them total, and they are scattered all throughout the instance. It's a fairly fun instance. Gotta be a little bit careful with your pulls if you're doing this on level, obviously. Now, if you see these pile of bones on the floor, if you stand on them, they will summon forth a spirit. The spirit will summon a bunch of whites, and there's a quest to kill 40 of the whites. So, you can summon a few of the spirits, as you can see right there, and you can let them endlessly spawn some of the whites. Now, I remember that when I was first doing this with this guy, he missed my message, I guess, about trying to let them summon the whites so that I could complete the quest. So it's not until the end of this instance that he actually listened to me and allowed the, the spirits to summon the whites for us to complete the quest. But anyways, that's besides the point. Let's go back to the killing here. This brute has a lot of HP. You can see he has a lot of defense as well. You just look at his armor, you can tell why we're only hitting him for a little damage. Pretty big corruptions on him. I think those are all the relics here. I'm trying to summon the spirits here before my friend can catch on to it. Those are the little whites I'm talking about. But obviously if you kill the spirit they stop summoning. So that's why I'm trying to go ahead of my friend and just summon the spirits. Because I realized at this point that he wasn't really allowing me to summon the corpses. So I was kind of trying to deceive him a little bit, not going to lie. Not going to lie. In the end, it all worked out, though. I believe this is going to be the first boss, but first you should definitely clear out these mobs on the periphery. The lore masters here are pretty powerful, so you want to be careful with them if you're doing this on level, of course. I 
think we're ready for the fight. Actually, there's another group here hiding behind the smoke in the back. Another one of these brutes with massive amounts of armor. There we go. I think now certainly we're ready for the boss fights. And I forgot the mechanics in this fight. I think certainly he spawns fires from the ground though, so you gotta be careful with that. Get a couple of relics here, loot all the rewards, and then I'll be on my way. Pressing forward deeper into the tower. Not all of these bone piles are going to summon spirits, but they're usually a little bit more isolated, more in the middle like that. Now I came to realize towards the end of this instance, I was trying to communicate with this guy who was helping me out through fellowship chat, but he was not reading that it appears because once I started sending him personal tells, he would respond. In fact, it was him that was sending me personal tells instead of just typing a fellowship chat, so I figured I might try that. And eventually that's how I got him to let us summon all the corpses for the quest. These guys in their armor, so crazy. At least they're pretty slow because of all that heavy armor. So here is another boss. He can do a lot of damage very quickly. So you do have to be careful with him. And this is when I realized that he wasn't reading fellowship chat. Because he was sending me personal tells. The storms are gathering quickly. My lord, aid me. You stray too far. I just stood back for this one so I wouldn't get one-shotted. But then he said, you stray too far, Kip, so I figured I might have to come in closer. I forgot all the mechanics of the fight. So not too bad for us. So here I started communicating with him through personal tells to see if we can get that quest for the 40 corpses. So this is where we started farming some of those, as you can see. And I'm not sure how long we did this for, but I think eventually we realized that with only one spirit summoning corpses, it was going to take a while, so 
We eventually moved on from here and decided to do the quest a little bit later on when there could be more spirits summoning corpses. So I may fast forward this a little bit because I can't remember how long we stayed here trying to farm these. So this is where I got impatient and I said, let's just move on. And there's going to be other spots up ahead with more spirits. That way we can summon the corpses a little bit faster. Look at that. There was another boom pile right here we could have been utilizing right behind me. I don't know if I even noticed it the first time I was going through. Also, the chest for killing that boss. Nothing too exciting. So I think here, if I can try to get some of the different bones. There you go. So now we got multiple spirits summoning in corpses. And that's going to make things a little bit faster, obviously. And there's even more bone piles up here. I think this is the last spot that you can do it at. So if you reach this end of the instance, make sure you utilize these bone piles before continuing forward. Or else you won't be able to complete the quest to kill the 40 corpses. These are the last few here. But you can see how fast it is if you're utilizing multiple spirits. We'll get the 40 in no time here. Look at all these corpses. Much better than earlier when it was just one at a time. That was taking forever. Clean up the mess here, kill the spirits, move on with our lives. Looks like my character leveled up here. Nice and juicy, 74. I got some quest items. I got a bunch of stuff going on. So we are ready for the final boss. And you may recognize this guy, Gorthal. He's the one that negotiated with us outside of Dobledur for the exchange and the one who ultimately betrayed us. It's time to get revenge. Ah, I see you have finally arrived. My Lord Sauron, what should I do? Through his eyes, you Even while I am not here, my servants will crush your pitiful attempts to retake Dol Guldur. Gorathur, destroy the free peoples who dare to intrude upon this my fortress of old. So very interesting. I think yes. that is the first experience we have actually witnessing Sauron in the game. And oh my god, look at my HP right now. Look at my HP. I'm about to die. From this point forward, I will teach you the true meaning of terror. I think at this point I realized it and I just decided to just hang back and hopefully not die. And I managed to survive. 
Ending the threat of Gorthul, picking up a few more relics of the Necromancer here. Alright, and final one. Excellent. So all the quests completed in here. And that's it. That is the end of this instance. But I think I recorded a few other things here in this episode. Namely, I still have one of the quests to kill a bunch of orcs around Dol Guldur. So I think I'm going to work on that a little bit as well. You can see that Nazgul flying right outside on the top of the screen there. I don't think I noticed that the first time I was going through this. But anyways, let me leave the instance here. Just thanking the person who helped me one more time here. And yet there's still that epilogue quest to kill a bunch of the orcs. And again, the reason why I didn't do that was because I thought there would be some in the instances, so I was just kind of waiting to do it. But when I realized that there wasn't, so I had to go back here and kill some orcs. Lots of them. And by the way, I did get this quest item here. And some deeds. So I did kill a lot of the bosses here in Dol Guldur, and that's what that deal was all about. Okay, so let's take a look at this quest item. And this is for the Riders of Rohan. Kippen, I write this letter in haste, for many great tasks are at hand, and I have been long away. I make for Rohan this very moment, and you should ride there with speed, if you, with all the speed you can muster. I cannot see the future, and I know you will be surely needed in the land before the end. If you befriend the horse lords there, they will likely gift you with one of their own great steeds. You will need a new steed, you see. War is coming. G. Presumably Gandalf. So I'm going to tuck that quest away for some other time because I'm nowhere near ready to go do Rohan just yet. In the meantime, I will be killing some orcs here. And it's nice that they no longer aggro on me since I leveled up in the instance. But at the same time, it makes it a little bit more difficult to round them up for more efficient killing. So I'm only at 2 out of 28. You can see they make you kill a ton of them here. But we do need to start wrapping things up here in Mirkwood. There's only a few episodes left in the season. Now, I will say that this episode is going to end a little bit abruptly because while I was running around killing these orcs, the same guy that I just did this instance with said he would be more than willing to try Barad Guldur with me, which is the 12-man raid. So, as soon as he told me he wanted to do it, he basically just invited me and I ended the episode abruptly so I could start the next one, which is the 12-man raid for Barad Guldur. And the reason I took him up on that offer is because it took me forever to find somebody to help me do this instance that I just did. So I didn't want to miss the opportunity to do the next one. I didn't want to be trying to advertise for a group for a week before being able to do it. So here in a few minutes, he's going to message me and invite me to do the instance and I'll just cut the episode. Before we do end, I would like to take the opportunity to once again apologize about the audio and the fact that I'm having to go back and redo the voiceover. I know it's not as genuine, not as exciting when I have to do that, but sometimes errors come up when I'm recording. But I've implemented new techniques to try and prevent that from happening in the future. I'm just going to be testing and making sure everything is working at the beginning of every episode. Make sure my microphone is all work working and everything else. So... Try to prevent that from going again. Had 
Had I known there weren't going to be any orcs in these instances, I would have been killing them while I was waiting to get groups for all of these over the past few episodes. As I remember, it took me a couple weeks to be able to do these instances just because it was hard to find a group for them. Thankfully, I'm still in lower level regions to where if just one or two max level people are willing to help out, we can do it. But I do worry for the future when I'm in higher level regions and I need to do instances. That's going to be a lot harder to find a group for. And the reason for that is that I'm going to need more people to volunteer as opposed to just one or two. And I think here I'm showing some of the new items that I equipped from drops from some of the instances. I did replace a few items. This quest to kill 28 orcs is a little bit complicated because the orcs are not very well concentrated. They're pretty scattered as you can see. So it does take a while to do it. 28 doesn't sound like much, but it certainly is. At least it helps you with the deed if you still need the deed to kill all the orcs and stuff. I think this is where I get the message to see if I wanted to go do the raid with him. And I certainly said yes to that. Still trying to kill a few more orcs though. The reason I try to kill some of these orcs in this episode is because it was a pretty quick instance as you have seen. So I was trying to fill up a better 30 minutes and I figured this would be a good spot to do it. I didn't want to have an episode where I'm just running around killing orcs. I was trying to avoid that. So here he's inviting me to go do it so that's what I'll do and in the next episode we're going to be doing Badar Guldur very interesting 12-man raid and I hope you guys will join me for that so see you on the next episode